Hey everybody, we're back again for another off-season recap video and today we're going to be taking a look at the New Jersey Devils. So the New Jersey Devils are kind of a rebuilding team still. They were not very good last season and while they've got some pieces in place that I really like, there's still a ways to go before the Devils are going to be a playoff level team in the NHL. So they've kind of had an interesting off-season this year. They're obviously building a lot through the draft. They're not going out and getting huge free agents or anything like that. But it, it's about patience with them and kind of building around the building blocks that they have in place. So before we fully get into it, I just ask that you please hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Both of those things help out a ton and are very much appreciated. But like I said with New Jersey, still a rebuilding team. And there, there's certainly some some pieces there that I do like a lot. Um, Nico Heischer, Mackenzie Blackwood in goal, I think is a phenomenal young goaltender. Um, and then they, you know, they had a big draft this year as well. But there's still a lot missing. Their uh, depth scoring is a huge issue. Their defense core is in shambles right now. They really don't have much there. So if we look at their off season this year, they've, you know, kind of. They've made some some good moves for sure, and they've moved on from some players that they certainly needed to move on from, but it hasn't been huge franchise-changing moves. They're being patient with it, which I think is the right approach. When we look at their additions, um, they brought in Corey Crawford to you know play with Mackenzie Blackwood, and I think that significantly improves their goaltending, takes some of the pressure off of Mackenzie Blackwood. And gives them a one-two punch tandem in goal that might actually be able to win some games this year. Um, and, you know, Blackwood, Blackwood, I cannot talk enough about how much I like Mackenzie Blackwood. He's a young goalie who's put up incredibly good individual numbers on a team that has not been good over the past couple of seasons. And he still finds ways to win a decent amount of games. His goals against and his save percentage numbers have been phenomenal. And I really think they have their goalie in Mackenzie Blackwood. It's just about building the team in front of him. He has a he has the chance to be a top ten goalie in the NHL. They just need to build that team in front of him. If he was playing on a team like the Washington Capitals, I think he'd already be a top ten goalie in the NHL. But unfortunately, he's been stuck with the Devils. But if they can build that team and get that team back to where it should be. Blackwood is a goalie that can take them very, very deep, I believe. And Corey Crawford's a phenomenal Stanley Cup winning veteran backup to have there to help Blackwood out. And it's very similar, I think, to what the Vancouver Canucks did with bringing in Braden Holtby to play alongside with Thatcher Demko. Just a really, really smart move there. They traded for Ryan Murray in a cap dump move by Columbus. Now, Ryan Murray was a top five draft pick. He's never lived up to that status, but he's a solid defenseman when he's healthy. He's good defensively, never really has, has brought the offense at the NHL level, but he's a solid defenseman. Uh, the big thing with him has been injuries. He just has not been able to stay healthy, and that has really, really hurt his NHL career. But we'll see what happens with Murray. They only gave up a fifth-round pick for him, so it really wasn't a whole lot. And he certainly, if he's playing on the ice, he makes their defense better than what they had last year. They traded for Andreas Janssen from the uh, New Jersey Devils. He or from the Devils, from the Toronto Maple Leafs, going to the New Jersey Devils. He's um. A good, you know, middle lineup, third line type scoring winger. Um, missed last season because of a knee injury. Hopefully he can get back on track with the Devils now. And again, he was a cap dump by the Maple Leafs. And New Jersey has so much cap space that they can make moves like this. And a good young guy with solid, I think, middle six potential who could, you know, maybe potentially be a 20 goal scorer. So add, hopefully adding some scoring depth there with Janssen. And they added veteran defenseman Dmitry Kulikov to the back end as well. He had spent the last few years with the Winnipeg Jets and they signed him to a pretty cheap deal just to kind of be a depth veteran guy and a good guy in the locker room but I don't think he's going to be a very you know impactful player for the Devils or anything like that as far as subtractions go these were all good subtractions for the New Jersey Corey Schneider uh, they bought him out he his contract needed to go I love Corey Schneider he Went, uh, played college hockey at Boston College. He was had a solid NHL career. Was one of the top goalies in the league for a little bit with the Devils, you know, in the early 2010s. But 
then it um injuries just absolutely derailed his career and it was all downhill from there and he just cannot be the same level of goaltender after all the injuries that he had and it's very unfortunate but he needed to go Kevin Rooney uh depth forward he moves on John Hayden depth forward he moves on not big losses there and Mirko Mueller is a depth defenseman that I've never really been a huge fan of and, um, you know, he's he's moved on as well. And I always thought he kind of belonged in the AHL and not really in the NHL. But I like the moves that the Devils have made. They're not like spectacular franchise changing moves or anything like that, but they're being patient. And that makes sense for where the Devils are at right now. Um, again, uh, their draft, uh, Dawson Mercer, Alexander Holtz coming in two big time forwards there. They draft in the first round who aren't going to play at the NHL level this coming season, but down the line could be big pieces for them on top of having Nico Heischer, Jack Hughes up front already. They're building a very good forward group there with New Jersey. And again, I like what they have in goal. I think they're building a good young forward core that down the line, you know, two, three years from now is really going to be able to put up some points. The defense is the big problem right now for New Jersey. And that's why I thought they would potentially be looking at um, offer shooting Mikhail Sergachev. Obviously, he's now signed with Tampa, but still maybe trading for a defenseman. They need a top level defenseman because they don't have that right now. Um, and they don't have, you know, a whole lot that I see um, that they're going to be that level of defenseman, you know, really NHL ready any anytime soon. So, um, you know, the, that's a big issue is just the defense for them. Um, if they can kind of fix that defense over the next year or two, um, obviously they uh, they drafted Muka Madulin 20th overall in this year's draft. Um you know, and they, they got him in there, Russian defenseman who, you know, you don't really know what you've got in him. He, he's he got a lot of upwards potential, but it's not a guarantee that he ever reaches that. He, he was kind of a reach of a pick, but be, he does have very high upwards potential. He could become, a, you know, a real top guy for them down the line. Shown flashes of being a very, very good player. Ty Smith, he's got to be, you know, he's got to be close. Um, Another guy that's kind of been, they've been waiting on. He's got to be close to making an NHL impact at some point here in the next year or two. But uh, they do have some some uh, defense coming up. But again, I'd like to see them go out and I thought they were going to make a move for Sergachev because that would be the kind of moves that that would speed this rebuild up with New Jersey and kind of move them along a lot quicker if they could bring in a Mikhail Sergachev type player into that lineup. That would be absolutely massive. But you know that maybe maybe it's still out there. They have a ton of cap space, which is spectacular for uh, for them to be working with, and they do have the the ability to go out and make a big move like that and bring in a big name player because of the cap space that they do have to work with. So it's a work in progress with the New Jersey Devils. Again, I don't think they're going to be a playoff team this season or anything like that. I still think they're a little ways away, but they're putting some building blocks in place that are going to lead to a very strong foundation and a very strong core going forward. And I think that's a great thing for, for New Jersey. And um, it's still a little bit down the line, but I think they do have the potential to be a, a good team again in the, in somewhat near future, maybe two, three years from now. And, and I like what they've done. Uh, they, they're shedding contracts that they need to shed like Corey Schneider's they're bringing in, you know, low cost, solid players that they're not giving up a lot for. And, you know, they're not giving out real long-term deals to anyone other than, you know, the young core building blocks either. So, um, you know, I like what New Jersey's doing. I think they're obviously still in rebuild mode, but when they come out of it, they have a chance to be a good team and they just got to stay on track with what they've been doing and, um, and just kind of, you know, be patient and let the rebuild run its course and then come out of it a better team on the other side. So, that's what I've got on New Jersey in their offseason. Like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon, merchandise store, and donation link are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.